Hey guys, Lifestyle with Lisa here. Thank you for coming back to my channel. I really appreciate it. Guys, I just want to show you guys another bill I got for um, the month of November. I just got it out the mailbox. Well, my son just got out the mailbox. He just coming home um, from school, from college. And um, he always checked the mailbox and he bring the mail up to me and I open this up. And I just, you know, I roll my eyes like, yeah, how much is, you know, well, I know it's the, usually the same amount every month, you know, with your phone bill, unless something they didn't tax on there or something you didn't bought. But, and the reason I have this other side just folded over because that's my name and my account number. But I wanted to show you guys this, just like I showed that light bill a month or two ago, guys, this is what happened. First of, first of all, I want to say this. I'm not the type of person that comes and make videos and talk about things like this because I'm bragging. I don't have a bragging bone in my body. I'm a very private person in real life. That's why certain things you would not see on my channel. And if I can share something that's helping me out that I have been doing for years, I would love to share it with someone else. I have been sharing things like this for the last three years on my Facebook and Instagram Um page and so since i have a um, youtube channel now i try to share with you guys so the first video that i made was like a month it's had to at least be a month now about my um light bill and this is what happened when you put extra money on your light bill now like i have told you all before in the past when i get extra funds the first thing that i focus on is putting extra money on my bills Things are hard out here now. I don't know about anyone else's situation, but I'm pretty sure we all, in our own way, are struggling with something in our own way. I, I, I have a one-income household. I'm not married. I'm not engaged. Anything like that. I don't have anybody giving me anything. This is God's grace. So when I get extra money, I don't care where it comes from. If I get extra money, I focus on putting it on my bills and I focus on my preps because guess what guys no one is coming to save you and no one cares do you understand me I had to learn that the hard way I really had to wrap my mind around it I want to say over 10 years ago because I'm just the type of person I always thought someone cares you know you got your family you got your friends or whatever but no, this is God's grace. This is God's grace. Coming from a, right now, for the last two years, one or two years, a one household income. This is God's grace. So that's why I say whenever I'm blessed with extra money, I put it on my bills. I put it on multiple bills that I have coming in. Because we living in strange times and scary times and everything is going up. Every time you turn around, everything is going up up and you think if you rent that these landlords care no they don't care and i'm not about to sit here and bash them i'm not mad at nobody and i'm not about to bash anyone even if i was mad but they i know they have to live they have to keep up the property and they have to live and they have expenses too but what i'm saying is ridiculous to go up every year i have never seen anything like it I have never seen anything like it to go up every single year. It's ridiculous because with, with everything that's going on, when this first, when this whole C-19 happened, it really, and they shut everything down. And I mean just about everything, especially here where I'm at. Um, well, a lot of places, but some places were still operating, but they shut everything down here. Um, I knew it was going to be a huge setback for everyone. And everyone, everyone was not affected. Because I know some, I know family and friends that was not affected. God bless them. And I know some businesses that was not affected. Because I know, I know um, friends that I grew up with that have businesses. Their businesses was not affected. And God bless them. I'm happy. But I know that um, it was going to really hurt the everyday working man and woman in the middle class. I knew it was going to really take some of us a while to get back. But guess what? It's all about how you look at things and how you handle it. You have to, listen, I have, I have been telling myself this for years. It's a certain prayer that I just pray. Listen, I ask God every single day, every single day, twice a day to help me accept the things I cannot change. 
it was really hard for me. It was really hard for me. I was the type of person I always want to focus on. Why is this happening? And is it something that I did or what can I do? Like, I don't want to drive myself nuts like that and worrying about things that I can't change. I can't help it because inflation is out here. I can't help it because it's shortages out here. I can't help it because I'm in a one income household. I do the best that I can. You know what I'm saying? And no, I don't want, like I told you guys before on one of my, um, my other, um, videos, just because you see people that's on YouTube, everybody is not big time on YouTube, y'all. Everybody is not big time. It takes some people years to really do well on, um, YouTube. It takes some people years. Some people have truly been blessed that I have found, I have followed a few people that started their channel like I did last year, um, I want to say at least about four or five people. Two of them have blown up really quick. And it's all about their content, guys. Listen, just because you guys are over here and you like me and you like my content and my channel, and I really appreciate all you guys for that. I, I pray for you guys and your families every day, and I appreciate you, all of you guys. I enjoy talking. You, you just do not know how much I enjoy talking to you all. When I have a chance to respond, I respond to every single one of you all. If I'm busy or I'm just tired, I leave at least a heart to let you know I read it. But I appreciate all you guys, every single last one of you guys that have subscribed to my channel and follow me and actually listen to my videos and you pay attention because you like to hear what I have to say and you, and you like what I have going on over here. I know some of my content just not for everybody some people would prefer just to listen to just the pre just the prepping they would they just want the information from 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 the prepping stuff that i started the channel off with some people just want is interested in just my walkthroughs through the store some people just interested in just food some people just interested in um they wanted me to just do my um grocery hauls or whatever hauls i get that's fine guys i like doing all that but this is a lifestyle channel you're going to see just about a lot of different things on this channel. That's why it's called Lifestyle with Lisa. But um, my, like I said, my channel is not for everybody. It all depends on who you are and what your content is about. And from what I have been seeing going on two years on here, that a lot of people gravitate to a lot of drama, a, a negativity. A lot of people like a rags to riches story. Some people like the type of channel that you tell all your business and show everything going on in your household. And just, you, I'm just not the type of person that I'm not going to show you everything going on in my household. I'm not going to come over here and talk to you about every single thing that I think, I think about and what I'm going through and things like that. No, 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 no. That's just not me. I'm private in real life. But everybody gravitates towards different channels for different reasons. And that's okay, guys. I always said that my tribe would find me eventually. I'm a huge believer in that. And this channel is going to do whatever Jesus Christ, my Lord, wanted to do. I just have to stay true and authentic to myself. So it's going to do what it has to do. But my whole purpose of coming on here right now is just to show you guys, when I talk about buying things in twos you see how quick last year and this year that i had continued been able to stock up and stay stock up with with my preps and my regular groceries because i buy things in twos because that's how you can stock up quick i also have started talking about over six months ago to you guys but people on my facebook and instagram i have been talking to them for over two three years um but i just started talking to you guys about six months ago about this is my suggestion. I can't tell anybody what to do when it comes to your preps. This is what I do when it comes to my preps, my grocery haul, and my household and my bills. When I get extra funds, I focus on my bills because that makes me sleep good at night, focusing on my bills. After I put extra funds on my bills, I go into my, I think, I think of my preps. And that's what makes me happy and feel better at night to know that I'm well stocked up on things that we need when it comes to food, water, drinks, essential items, personal items, things like that. Also, it makes me feel good, guys, when I get a bill like this. Now, my light bill came in last month, and I showed you guys it has zero balance. That's what happened when you put extra money on your bill. You know, I had someone, when I started talking about this over two, three years ago on my other social media platforms, 
just want to be negative. And I have followed her and supported her for years. I don't know where it come from, but she, she was just real negative about it. And I said, well, why would you be negative about something like this? Because I feel like if this is something that's helping me, I'm pretty sure it can help out other people too. Guys, I'm not a rich person. I'm not even considered middle class anymore, guys. I just put extra money when I get extra funds on my bill when I get it. And this is what happened when you do that. This is what happened when you prep. You see, not just this stuff right here, but you see how things are stacked up and prepped. This is not all that I have, but you have seen a lot of stuff that I have in my apartment. And this is the other reason right here. This is what happened. I have my phone bill. I put extra money on my phone bill, cable bill, light bill, whatever bills I have. I put, always put an extra 15, 20, 30, whatever. Whatever comes in here, extra funds, I divide them between each bill. And I was really shocked because I never get a um, I never had um, my phone bill like this. I have had my gas, lights, and what else is that? Gas, light, and it was another bill that I know that I have I have had a couple of bills that came in with no with zero balance. But this is my first time with my Team Mobile bill. Team Mobile have been good to me. I've been with them for over 10, 11 years, and I like them. I haven't had no problem with Team Mobile. I just haven't. And um, I just want to come on here and show you guys what I talk about, I'm about. If I suggest things to you, it's because it's working, and it possibly can work for you and your family. If you, if you give it a try, it possibly can work. So, you know, a lot of people, when they get extra funds, they like to gamble. Hey, I like, I like to, um, I went gambling one time with my father years ago, may he rest in peace. And I ended up hitting it big, but I didn't, I went gambling. I lost, I lost gambling, but we went to the dog race twice and I hit it big because my father t showed me how to bet on dogs and what to look for and I hit it big but when I went to the casino I lost I didn't lose all my money because I'm not a fool my mother didn't raise no idiot I bet it one time at the casino and I was ready to go after I lost my lid I think it was like 50 or 100 dollars I was ready to go but the dog race was really good dog track was really good to me that one time and we I I, I, I hit the jackpot that's all I'm gonna say but that was years ago guys I was young I was like I want to say about 19 20 something it was a fun time just to enjoy myself with my father but um some people like to gamble some people like to smoke some people like to go to the strip joint some people like to drink some people like to party y'all know what people like to do people like to buy electronics jewelry people like to do different things with their money but i'm just the type of person i like to do things with extra funds that i get that's gonna bring me value to me my family and my household so that's what i choose to do with it and i'm just showing you guys another bill like i showed you my light bill last month this one came in and it was a real shocker, but it makes me feel really good that I don't have a bill for November, my a phone bill. And I'm pretty sure a lot of the other bills, I'm going to have bills, but it's going to be very low. Because like I said, putting extra funds on there when you have it, it makes a big, huge difference. And buying your, keeping your household prepped and stocked up, it makes a huge difference, guys, because... We're just living in very strange times. There's a lot of weird stuff going on. It's a lot of stuff they're passing. It's a lot going on out here, guys. Only thing you can do is the best that you can and do what you can and try to keep food in your house for you and your family and the essential, all the things that you use on a daily basis, you want to make sure you keep that stuff stocked up if you can. So I'm not going to keep you guys long. I just wanted to show you this again that, um yeah, it says, it says negative. It says 10 97 so that means that's a balance and it says no payment required and like i said this is november bill so guys stay encouraged keep praying god always makes a way don't let nobody tell you god listen do the best that you can don't get me wrong just praying and sitting around doing nothing is dead but what i'm saying keep a good attitude about everything keep prepping Get, like I said, keep stack up to the rafters. Keep keep your um prep stacked up as much as you can. When you see gaps anywhere, I don't care where your gaps is at. It can be in your deep freezer, your freezer, refrigerator, um, cabinets, um, pantry. I don't care where it's at. It can be your cleaning items, personal items. When you see gaps, you don't want huge gaps. 
You just don't want huge gaps because you don't know when you may be able to find that product again. So yeah, you don't want it to the point that it's huge gaps. Now, if it's just a small gap, you will live if you've been prepping, <laughs> you know, but you don't want things to be like a huge gap, guys. Winter is coming. November is what? Next week. November is next week, guys. And then December. Then the beginning of the year. We don't know what to expect. But all I know is inflation, shortages on food, essentials, personal, all this other stuff that's going on. This stuff is going to be here for a little while longer. Brace yourself. Keep praying. Do the best that you can. And try to enjoy your families this holiday, guys. Even if you can give gifts or not. Just enjoy your family. Enjoy the food. And pray. And thank God for the things he have done for you. I see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much again for all your support and your kind, positive um, comments. And I want to say hi to my new subscribers. If you know anyone that you think that will enjoy my channel and my videos, send them this way and tell them to subscribe. Hey, listen to a few videos. Watch a few videos and tell them to subscribe to my channel. And, um... Hopefully they have decided to just stay, you know, you know, and share, like, comment, and I will see you all in the next video, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.